The St. Mary's Senior High School at Konongo is grappling with infrastructural and environmental challenges. According to school authorities, its problems began after it was absorbed by the Education Ministry from the Catholic Church in 2015. Benjamin Edu has come through with this report. First established as a vocational technical school by the Catholic Church, the St. Mary's Senior High School became a government school in 2015. It has an enrollment of 900 students, 700 of whom are boarders. The school's old dining hall is now used as a dormitory block while students eat under a mango tree. A 12-unit classroom project started in 2016 has been abandoned while classrooms remain congested. The school has no assembly hall. The one initiated by the PTA has stalled. The community's sewerage runs through the campus, posing a major health hazard. The school's compound has become home to livestock. Headmistress at the school, Alice Matoy J, lamented several efforts to discourage the practice have failed. Some wee smokers are around. They come to hide themselves at the bush there. After smoking, then they will come and harass the children also in the night. Because we don't have bungalows on campus, only the senior house ministers have volunteered to share the dormitory with the students and look at one person taking care of 700 bodies. Teachers, students and other staff have been verbally and physically attacked in their attempts to protest. The Asante Achim Central Municipal Chief Executive Susanna Komia says challenges faced by the school will be factored into the Assembly's infrastructural development projects. As you know, um, everything has to be budgeted for, so we, we do it bit by bit as and when our budget, budget will allow us. But we haven't left education behind at all. The Municipal Education Director, Patricia Sapong, pledged commitment to improve facilities in the school. My priority is on the fence wall to fence the school to protect the girls and preserve their lives. We've consulted the MC, that's the Municipal Chief Executive, and she also, as a female, is interested and has pledged her full support.